Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth, and let's chat about the science fiction novel, Hum. Reading from the insert here, from the National Book Award longlisted author of The Need comes an extraordinary novel about a woman who undergoes a procedure that renders her undetectable to surveillance, but at what cost? What an interesting concept, right? Um, this is a book that gave me a lot of anxiety what i mean by that so that's a good thing right where uh, if the author can invoke that feeling from you from reading i think that's really good um but i really felt anxiety throughout the book anxiety from their the character's living condition um so this is a family of four uh, may who is the wife that got um, surgery done on her face, her husband Jen, and then their two kids, Lou and C or Sai, not 100% sure how to pronounce his name there. And so their living condition is terrible. Um, they always have to worry about air quality. The water in their um, area isn't good. I mean, I feel like that's also happening now where some area in our world today, people are living in these type con conditions, but it's just kind of like, this book really exacerbates it because you're like way in the future or i feel like you're way in the future in this book and so um and everything is just to the max level with this book the weather we write the air condition um, air quality um the dynamics between the family is also intense i mean you have uh, the mom's relationship with the kids, it feels kind of like strange. And then you also have the relationship with Jem and May. They also feel strange. And then, of course, the family is obsessed with like screen time and being on their phone all the time. And May trying to like disconnect, but she can't because that's just the world they live in. Um, and then... Um, yeah, just everything about this world really gave me anxiety and also the high surveillance because there are these um, AI robots that are called HUM um, that are just around this world. I mean, they do everything, right? They uh, uh, they know everything about you because like every time you address a HUM, they like say your name. So they kind of know a little bit about you and it's really freaking creepy um, that that's even a thing um i mean there's some cute aspects of the hum uh, i wouldn't say it's like my favorite character but i do appreciate the hum's like ability to try to be like connecting with the people in this world i mean they're programmed to do that but it's still funny to kind of read about so like the hum so for example there's like a scene in this book where the kids would ask the hum like what their favorite color is and so the hum would straight out say to the kids i really don't have a favorite color i just say a color just to kind of like gain rapport or gain trust from you but um and then they would spit out facts saying like but um x per, uh x oh my gosh x percent of people you know say like red green or blue are their favorite colors and so little things like that and oh and the constant like advertising these hums do and you have to like pay to stop them from advertising i'm just like dude what a like waste of money you are always like bombarded with all these ads and it's just like a really stressful environment to live in so um it is clear and unclear why the mom did what she had to do so she had to get surgery done so my thinking was okay like is she going to be doing something nefarious? I mean, and this procedure has to be illegal, right? Because you're altering the way you look so that you can evade surveillance. Like, obviously, that's um, illegal, right? Because the whole point of this surveillance world is to know everything and everything that you do, right? And so I felt like after she got the surgery, it was just like a slice of life where it's like, oh, she's just living her life. There's nothing crazy like she's running away from police or um people are after her because she's like doing something illegal you're like none of that it's just like her life moves on 
because she got this surgery. And um, she also um, uses the money that she receives from the surgery to like, try to better her family, but it still kind of fails because then she um, inadvertently like spends, you know, it's kind of like you try your best not to spend money when you're being advertised, but then she's like also like getting sucked into the system. And so it's kind of like a vicious cycle there. And so she like tries to take her family to like nature, but like this nature isn't even nature. It's like a, like man-made nature too, right? It's not even like you're going outside for really like fresh air because when they like exit, it's like they immediately exit into like the city. And so it just, everything about this world just feels fake and it just it gives me anxiety but um yeah so the whole point of the story um i wasn't 100 percent sure especially like the ending maybe it was more like okay to see how much a parent was sacrificed for their family sure you know i can see that but at the same time it's like was it necessary then for her to like get facial surgery when in the end it's just going to put them back to where they are so it was like what was the point of doing that you know what I mean and so um there was a lot of missing things from this book I felt like I wish the author touched more on um and so overall my feelings about this book I'm gonna give it a two stars so again no not a lot of action that you expect from like a science fiction novel or anything that was like very dramatic that would come out of this especially again you're getting your face altered you know like what big thing is happening so um, there's some missing stuff in this book for me well like always we'd love to hear from you did you like this book didn't you like this book who is your favorite character please comment share and subscribe happy reading